Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to another Mod Spotlight of mine and today I will mostly be Corvo from Dishonored. <laughs> Check it out. So, as you may well have already guessed, this is the Dishonored mod for Minecraft. Right, so let's get straight into it and have a look what's involved. Um, as I go through the items, we'll also have a look at the crafting recipe until we get to the armor set. So, from the top is Corvo's sword. Uh, it's nothing special, just like it is in the game. Uh, it consists of two iron ingots, two pieces of coal and a stick. And there it is. Let's, uh, whoops, bring it up. Here it is. Yay! Um, it's only as strong as iron. Nothing is special. It's not really that special in the game, to be honest, other than it's probably your main tool for assassination. But uh, yes, it doesn't do anything else. So that's that's it. That's pretty pretty simple for that one. Corvo's sword. Let's put that back in there. And then we've got the um, wheel lock pistol, which is fun. Let's put that in there, which consists of three iron ingots and one piece of obsidian. I'll show you what it what it's like in a moment. We get some bullets. So you make bullets with gunpowder and iron ingots, uh, which will give you eight bullets. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some spawner eggs. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. We will spawn some pff, something simple. Yeah, some um, pigmen. The pigmen burn the light. I can't remember. I don't know. We're soon going to find out. Uh, let's. Let's plunk a pig man down. As you can see, I've already been here. Oh, no, it won't do it because I'm in peaceful mode. Derp. Let's, uh, let's get some, some cows. Cows will do. Cows. Hello, cows. Right, so the range on this is not far. I'll show you if you watch you now. We we'll fire one shot, and the range is pretty, pretty weak. Um, and there's no sound effect either, so hopefully there'll be some sound effects in the future. But let's, let's take out this cow. One shot. Oops, missed. Two shots. So most mobs take two shots. Uh, obviously, the chickens always only ever take one. But there we go. That's fairly simple. There is better rounds than that later. I'll show you. But this is the interesting stuff, just like it is in the game. You uh, have rooms. Uh, sorry, runes, not rooms. Uh, and whalebone charms. So let's check out this rune. So there's only one available at the moment in the mod, which is uh, the Blink rune. So let's move all this out of the way. Put the rune there. And that's crafted with uh, four leather, four obsidian, and one ender pearl. And you can essentially just um, blink about by right clicking. Pium! Oh god, I feel like Corvo already. It's just like game. Wow, the realism is amazing. <laughs> So there we go, just like you'd expect. Uh, it's just like using an ender pill, basically. Oh, ow! Uh, blink over there. There we go. So yeah, you can get to some funky places by just blinking about. So that's cool. Uh, let's move on to the the runes that are available. Where are they? There we go. The charms, even sorry, whalebone charms. Uh, this is the recipe to make them: three iron ingots, three bones, and a piece of obsidian. And there are three different charms that are available in this mod. So let's show you. Uh, here we are. So we've got um, one that gives you the ability to mine faster, one that gives you the ability to breathe underwater, and the other one gives you the ability to jump higher. And all you do is you select them in your inventory, right click, and that puts that effect onto you. So there you go, jump boost number two, which will last for a couple of minutes. And that lets you jump two and a half blocks. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, boing. Let's let's see if we can do some funky stuff. So we jump, jump like this, and blink. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> These are the sort of things you can do in the game. So not bad, eh? Not bad at all. Right. Um, let's have a quick look at the other ones. So the whalebone charm. Uh, that one lets you breathe in the water, and that one. So there's your breathing on the water and there's your haste. Uh, I'm not going to demo these because they work. It's simple. You breathe on the water with that one, you mine faster with that one. Nothing too exciting. Um, this mod is a work in progress, so hopefully in the future uh, there'll be a lot more charms and a lot more runes. I like to see a lot more runes for sure. So we're going to set ourselves to um, hard now so that I can actually take some damage to show off the elixir. So the elixir 
will uh, give you regen 2 for 10 seconds when you're hungry. So let's um, let's get some hunger up. We need to run around, do some serious jumping, if we can get some hunger going. Maybe if I take a bit of damage. Let's try and blink up there and jump off. Oh, oh, god. Oh, god. Ah! Okay, I'm not trying to kill myself here. <laughs> that place was packed full of mobs. Uh, come on. I've run everywhere. I should get hungry in no time. Surely. What's that? What is that? Oh, this map that I'm on at the moment will be available um, in the description. If you just have a look, there'll be a link to download it. This is just hunger. It's just not happening. The best way I know to get hungry is to just run and jump around like a loon. Come on now. There we go. We've got a bit of hunger there now. So, yes, the elixir. Uh, you just drink it. And... There we are. It'll give you uh, regen for 10 seconds. And, oops, wrong button. If you go in there, it shows you. And, of course, well, this is the other one. The other one is ah, Pre Rose Remedy, which will do your food hunger. So, if we have a drink of that, that should replenish five chicken legs or chicken nuggets or the health points, whatever you want to call it. Yes, those are the two um, elixirs that you can get. And then we've got the whale oil, which is basically a, a grenade. But in the game, it's it's um, it's a fuel for power. So what you do is you just look at whatever you want to blow up and right-click. And off it goes. Oh, yeah. Now, it's as powerful as about um, a creeper explosion from what I've been testing. Um, not as powerful as TNT from the look of it. So that's that's pretty handy if you can get some of that. Uh, where, where was that now? Uh, this elixir, sorry, the recipe, if I didn't go over it, was uh, three iron ingots, three panes of glass, and a redstone. This one is the same, but with lapis, and the whale oil is this. Three iron ingots, four panes of glass, ink sack, and a walker, a walker? A water bucket. <laughs> uh, and then we've got the exploding bullets, which are cool. So you need some blaze powder, gunpowder, and iron ingots, which will give you eight exploding bullets. Let's bring those up. Now, from testing earlier, they don't seem to cause damage, but they will um, do an area of effect sort of damage. So let's bring up some cows. There we go. And good night, Vienna. <laughs> so if you get a direct hit, it'll kill them. But if you shoot the floor, it's not quite a killable blow. So let's shoot right at the cow. And he's dead. One more. You dead. <laughs> so they're, they're quite effective. And then the last thing to look at is the armor. So here's the what it looks like. Here's the armor set. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's quite similar for a Minecraft skin. It's quite similar to uh, what you'd expect to see in game. And here's a recipe to bring those up. So Corvo's mask is three leather, two iron ingots. His jacket is six leather, two ingots. Leggings, uh, five leather, two ingots. And last but not least, his boots which is two ingots and two leather. So there we go. Um, all the links for download are going to be in the description, including the map. And I'm on uh, Duraco's Dark Texture Pack here, because I thought it was appropriate, you know, trying to get the effect of um, Dishonored there. You know, I think it's worked out quite well. So if you like this video, please remember to like and favourite, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Bye.